put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version, and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. A back movie review. Porter makes his living outside of the law. He rips off banks and payrolls. Not too big stuff, so when one heist only returns 140 grand and his partner, who had agreed to only go away with half, needs 130 for the outfit, the, the crime syndicate that he wants back in, Porter finds himself double-crossed by his partners. Shot in the back and left for dead. When he returns, everyone expecting him dead, he wants his money back. That's really all there is to it. He doesn't want to, you know, go about some elaborate revenge plot. He just wants his money back. He stole that 70 grand fair and square. The money is his and he wants it back. And the fact that the money has been spent on a criminal syndicate? Tough. This is just a an excellent neo-noir thriller, you know, and actually you could almost call it an action movie because there's certainly plenty of stuff that goes on. Mel Gibson is just perfectly cast in the lead as Porter. It just, he narrates on occasion in the film, it's not that frequent, and, and even when he's just talking in the movie, just his voice just that gravelly kind of quality to it, you know. This is the kind of movie that inspires games like Max Payne, and this really is the movie that the Max Payne movie should have been. The dialogue is razor sharp throughout. Every line is brimming with just snark and cynicism. Everyone, every single character in this movie, everyone in the environment that this, you know, takes place in and that it quite nicely establishes and you know maintains is just a complete hard ass and just there are no good guys here you know I suppose you could say there are some genuinely bad guys but there's definitely no good guys you know our lead is an anti-hero you know he beats up and tortures his way up the food chain to find out where his money went and how to get it back, you know. This is not, you know, he spent the first ten minutes of the movie, you know, flat broke, just robbing people, basically, to get by, you know. And, you know, but he's, he's smart about it. He does it real subtle. And somehow, in spite of every character being just, you know, it just... I don't know how they do it, but it never actually gets tiring. It's not like you ever think, okay, I've had enough of these macho dudes, you know. Just, no, you're just, you're yearning for more, actually. You're, or, yearning, you're, you're left hungry for more, you know. Which is not to say that they don't provide plenty of it. It's just, like half the people in this are just mean SOBs, you know. You just know that... The, that guy's gonna cause some trouble, you know? It doesn't exactly hurt that a couple of them are played by people like Bill Duke and, what's his name, John Glover, you know, Lex Luthor's dad from Smallville, you know? You know those guys are just, they're, they're gonna cause some bad stuff, you know? And, you know, Bill Duke, by the way, plays a crooked cop, you know? So you, it's not even just criminals, you've got crooked cops in there as well. Lucy Liu is just unforgettable in this as this 
S&M queen who's really into it, you know. It's not just a work for her, she loves her craft, you know. And one of her clients actually is Porter's former partner, you know, Val Resnick. I think it's Greg Henry portraying him. And he is just a slime ball of a sadist, you know. You just hate him. And you can just tell from right away, you know, you just, you're gonna hate this guy. You just, you want him to get beaten up or killed or something, you know. And just really throughout, and in general, it just, it has some great actors, you know. Some of the names escape me at the moment, but, you know, look it up on IMDb or something. It's got great actors in it, you know. The whole style is really great. It it has this real classic feel to it. I mean, I mentioned it's it's neo-noir, that subgenre, you know. Every phone in this movie is a rotary phone, you know. That's not an accident. Even, you know, the soundtrack, vital part of a film. I don't think there's a single song in this which was produced after the 70s. If there is, I couldn't tell, you know, and it actually fits in several James Brown pieces, you know, so, yeah, this movie has taste, you know, and at the same time it's actually almost distastefully violent and, you know, sick at points. It definitely is a very disturbing film. Again, neo-noir, you know, it goes the whole, you know, like I said, it is this environment, you know, and do note that you don't only see, like, just worn down buildings and horrible neighborhoods. You see some nice neighborhoods in this, but that doesn't mean that they're not, you know, full of crime and kind of, you know, like, if you see something really expensive in this movie, you feel like the guy who owns that didn't earn that money legally, you know, just, it, it, there's that real sense to it. The sort of, I don't know, the tone of the, the, the nuances and the colors of this have this sort of faded, like, again, 70s kind of old film kind of quality to it, where it really feels like, you know, this world was just forgotten by sunlight, you know, and it, again, it's not even that the whole movie takes place at night, it's just, no matter how, you know, no matter where you are, no matter how bright and cheery it might look in a different movie in this movie it just looks just grimy and gritty and just nasty the you know, over the course of the film Porter reconnects with it hooks back up with Maria Bello who is this you know, sex worker and you know it's uh, you could say it's a little obvious to have, you know, a woman in this and have sort of a love interest and then it almost might take away from the, you know, noir qualities of it. But really, she's a strong female character and their relationship is, you know, interesting enough. It's not just straightforward, you know, love each other forever kind of stuff, you know. It, you know, there is some challenge to it, you know. It's not just straight sailing or anything and she plays it excellently as well she's not quite as hot as Lou though but no one in this movie yeah it's difficult to compete with how hot she is in this movie the plot is quite good you know the and there are enough sort of twists and turns and developments to really keep you interested you know Over the course of the film, a ton of different people get to going after Porter. You know, I already mentioned that there are crooked cops in it. They get away for the money. They want to cut. You know, that there's this Asian gang that, you know, the, the 130, well, 140 really total grand that, that were stolen. That was stolen from an Asian gang. You think they've forgotten about that? They haven't. You know, and yeah, so over the course of it, they just, all of these different you know, groups and people that want Porter and or want his money and or want him dead. And he has to somehow take care of all of them, you know. I suppose that pretty well covers it. But yeah, just a really gritty neo-noir. 
very classic feel to it, you know, very effective. You know, I, I talk about the violence. It's, it's not fun violence, you know, it's the kind of violence where you're really, you know, sympathizing with the person hurt and really going, oh, that's gotta hurt, you know, stuff like that. And it's actually, you know, I know it's surprising with Mel Gibson being in this, you might think it's, you know, sort of pornographic, but no. And, yeah, I suppose that's pretty much everything that, yeah, just excellent film, you know, stands up to several viewings. If this is at all what you're into, go watch it right now. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.